Perhaps it's part of your nighttime routine, pre-setting your coffee pot so that hot cup of joe is there waiting for you in the morning. But depending on what kind of machine that you have, something gross and sometimes dangerous could be leading to a bad buzz. Angela Brower has tonight CBS4 Consumer Investigation. It's the smell, the taste, it's that jolt of caffeine. But this might be more eye-opening than even your double espresso. Gross. It's disgusting. I'm surprised none of us are sick. <laughs> For years, people have been questioning what is lurking deep inside these coffee makers, given the tubes are often dark, warm, moist, and inaccessible. Some have posted videos online claiming they found disturbing debris. Now, as a coffee connoisseur myself, I'm finding out firsthand. I smashed open this single serve Keurig. The person who I bought this from said they purchased it in 2017 and used it for about one cup a day. That's average. What I immediately found inside. That's clumpy. Well, we'll just say it left me shaken. There's just gunk. Not stirred. Look at that. After swapping the tubes and sending those to the lab. What'd you find? At least six bacteria, probably eight molds. Is that a lot to you? Yes. Confirmation. Scientists found and identified these molds and bacteria inside. Is any of this concerning to you that you found it in, the, in a coffee maker? It's not concerning necessarily because none of them are pathogenic to humans. If that's growing in your coffee maker, would you still drink your coffee? No. Tonight, they warn the same fungi could be brewing in your Keurig as well. Yeah, this is Angela Brower with CBS4. I'm just wondering what consumers can do to best prevent this. We, we called and emailed Keurig asking how you can best avoid a similar buildup. The company issued a statement saying, quote, like any kitchen appliance, Keurig brewers need basic maintenance to remain clean and functioning properly. Importantly, descaling regularly removes mineral buildup that can affect taste and quality. So how often should you descale your brewer? At least every three to six months. And you can do that with distilled vinegar or a branded descaler product. To help, Keurig suggests using bottled or filtered water to cut down on the mineral product of the water inside. There are three other things you should be doing to clean your coffee maker. Those are listed right now on your CBS4 Indie app. I'm Angela Brower, CBS4 News.